Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I hope you'll leave comments. I hope you'll subscribe. I've got some great ideas for videos from subscribers, so please leave a comment. Today I wanted to walk you through a solution that I came across to a problem that I've been dealing with. I have a chart here. Uh, on a previous video, I've shown you how to add grand totals to segmented bar charts. So this is, happens to be sales. I wanted profit on a side-by-side -side chart. So I bring the profit up here. Well, I don't want profit there. I want it side-by-side. -side. And the way I usually do it is through a dual axis. So let me get rid of the, I'm going to probably get rid of the wrong one. Let me get rid of the, no, I got rid of the wrong one. So we'll get rid of this sales. Now I've got the segment and I've got the profit. We just do the dual axis. And we'll do synchronize, always synchronize. They're over offsetting. I don't want that. I want them side by side. What you need to do is bring the measure names up here. And that will give you the side by side. Um, I want the sales on top, not the profit. So I had switched them here. You'll notice still doesn't change. And that's because the measure names is really defining the order here. So it comes under measure names, under sort. You can do it by alphabetical, or you can do it manual, any way it'll work. And just, it's highlighted, profit's highlighted, so move that, oh, it's not, move that down. And you've got what you're looking for, or what I'm looking for. But what I still wanted was to add the total here. And I was really struggling with that until I realized, I know it's pretty stupid, come under labels, well actually not under labels, you're gonna do, come over here under analytics. I'll show you what happens if you come under labels, show labels, it's for each of the segments. I don't want the segments, I want the grand total. Come under reference line, bring it over, and you want it for each cell for the sales. It's going to come up with a band here, I mean a list of items, and what we want is we want the sum of everything. You don't want the maximum because that will be the max segment. You want the sum, you want the tool, you want the value to be the value, and we want the line to be zero. If you have a line, you can kind of see it's going to extend on both sides. We want to have none, so it kind of looks like it belongs there. And okay, now we've got it. Now you'll notice up here the top one is going to be kind of overlaid. The way you get around that is come under here, you edit the axis, and you just come under fixed. On the end, it says 1.2, let's just make it 1.4 million. And now it's extended a little far enough that you can get that so that it can be all visible. Great, I thought, but it's not very um, aesthetically pleasing. So what I do is come under here. I right clicked. You have edit, format, and remove. You're going to format. So you come over here. You don't want any of the fill above or below. What you want is you want font. Here's where you can pick 12 so it's looking like like you had it before, or like how I had it before. And let's see, alignment, you can put it on central so it looks more like you were expecting. And if you have it in the middle, you don't want that. Off to the one side, let's, let's see what the left side looks like. No, we don't want that. And there you go. So now you have a side-by-side -side chart with segments and a grand total at the end.